WTOL.org for more. And now, WTOL 11 Sports, sponsored by Jim White Honda. Thanks to Jim White Honda, we're finishing out the first full day of the NCAAs and welcoming back the 12 seed over the 5 seed upset. Eight of the last nine years have had this upset and today saw not one, but two of them. First it was Yale with a 79-75 win over Baylor and then this one, number 5 Purdue against number 12 Little Rock, final seconds in regulation, Trojans down 3, Josh Hagens from behind the arc gets the 3 and sends it into overtime. Both teams keep battling. Hagen's again taking it down the court. He drives the lane and pulls up for the jumper, gets it to go, and we're heading into double OT. Hagen's again, he had 31 points driving pulls for that fadeaway jumper. Trojans lead by four, and Purdue would make this last-ditch effort right here, but it would not fall. Little Rock gets the 85-83 to upset to advance to round two. We have plenty more basketball for you. Friday at noon, we'll begin with Dayton and Syracuse, then Michigan State versus Middle Tennessee State, then West Virginia and Stephen F. Austin, and to finish it out, Notre Dame against Michigan. Now moving from the hardwood to the ice, BGSU men's hockey heading to Grand Rapids tomorrow to play in the WCHA Final Five. Falcons going in as the third seed, going up against second seed and nationally ranked Minnesota State. Now back in February, the Falcons split with the Mavericks in Minnesota, so tomorrow's game will be the rubber match. But a game coach Chris Bergeron is going in with confidence and optimism. We have just as good of an opportunity to win as anybody going. There's four teams left, two wins, and you're there. And, and, and there's obviously more hockey to play if you do get the two wins. Um, we've The last two games we've been playing with, there's no hockey tomorrow if we don't win. Um, and, and I think our guys responded pretty well to that. So no reason to believe we won't respond well on Friday. Uh, very difficult opponent, we know that. But somebody we know really well. They know us really well, and you know we'll see who executes better. The Walleye at home Friday and Saturday, but on the road tonight in Indy. They pulled away with the road win, 6-2 to two the final. The Red Wings also on the road. They're in Columbus. And just under the halfway mark in the first period, Detroit's Riley Cheyenne takes the shot, deflects off Luke Glendening for the goal. one nothing Red Wings. They would add on two more and get the 3-1 to one win over the Blue Jackets. Tigers spring game against the Cardinals. They're spreading a little Irish cheer, sporting those green Green uniforms, Mike Pelfrey on the mound for Detroit. He pitched five scoreless innings here, 2-2 count, and a swing and a miss for Greg Garcia, one of Pelfrey's three strikeouts on the day. Tigers up 1-0, bottom of the third, and here is Miguel Cabrera. He takes this one yard over the fence for a solo homer. It's his third home run of the spring season. Tigers would go on to win it 5-4 the final. And that's it for sports tonight. We'll be back.